What's going on, YouTube? It's your fucking boy, B Mark, and we are four days out from the men's physique competition. And we're gonna take you guys to a workout today. So um, I'm here with the fam. Oh, lost my balance. I wanted to show you guys like the entire morning. Like I wanted to show you the like what I'm eating, and because like Brett has me on a fat loading day today. So um, I just had uh, three eggs, uh, egg whites, and two rice cakes with 20 grams of almond butter, and it was fucking delicious. I literally haven't had a whole eggs. I haven't had a whole egg in like probably like six months. So that was good. And um, now we're gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna take you guys through the back workout that uh, it's like that one of my last back workouts, back and arms. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So to, in this vlog, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you through my peak week workout. This is gonna be my second last workout of the prep, which is crazy. So second last workout of the prep, I'm gonna take you through the peak week workout. And then I'm actually gonna take you guys to the trailer park that I was born and raised. I'm gonna show you guys like my grandma, I feel like I've talked about this before, but those of you guys that don't really know my story, um, eight years ago, I was addicted to cocaine, almost lost my life, almost got killed by drug dealers, and I was living in my grandma's trailer at the time, and that was really where my story started, and that's where I started becoming like the Brian Mark that, you know, the t you know number one business coach for online trainers, you know, I've been working with 1,200 students, all of that started in the trailer park, and I'm gonna take you guys back to the trailer park in this vlog, so welcome to the vlog, hope you guys enjoy it, sit down, relax, let's fucking go. No. Is anybody in there? Oh, what was your catastrophe? Um, I was putting my water bottle into my bed and it wasn't screwed on. Oh shit. <laughs> good news is you got a big old booty and you're married to a handsome black dude, so that's good. It's light at the end of every tunnel, you know what I mean? You guys want to see my our giant ass truck? Dude, this thing is le legit a behemoth. Like when I ordered it, I knew like I had me, Daniel, Kirst, Haley, Brendan, so I knew there was going to be a lot of us and all of our luggage. And so when I ordered it, I purposely got a place, uh, it said it had eight seats and I, I actually thought that was impossible. I was like, there must be a typo. This thing is a fucking bus and I feel really good driving it. Like I would buy one of these, which is like weird because I don't usually like trucks or SUVs, but this thing is like, it's like sexy, you know, if you like that Daniel. Why are you smiling? <laughs> what? Why are you smiling? It's funny. It's weird. Oh, you just farted. That's disgusting. Fuck you. I'm supposed to follow you everywhere. Yeah, you're not supposed to fart when you follow me. That's not part of the deal. I didn't say, hey, follow me and vlog and then fart while you vlog. I said, fucking follow me and vlog. Stop it. You look like you're about to shit yourself. Get in. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Brendan, uh, do you want to update the vlog on uh, the current status of your face? Cute as fuck. No, that's oh not Oh my it. god. That's what we're trying to say. Oh, you mean my porn stash? Yeah. I forgot about it till you just said that. Cute um, as fuck. Yeah, you know, I want it to look a little bit like a park ranger, but a little bit like... A petty. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully a little bit not. like a park ranger, a little bit like a pedophile. Okay, somewhere in between those two. So, who's excited for her today? At the next stop sign, Me. turn right. I honestly feel kind of bad for my friends because I go through mood swings on prep. Because <laughs> like right now I feel amazing, but then I'll be in the middle of the day and I'll be like have no food. And we just have to wait till your workout's done and then you'll be sass pants. <laughs> <laughs> because you're... 13 milligrams of energy right now will be gone. Touche. So today, you guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, this workout, um, which is the second last workout, and then after the workout, I have a company-wide team meeting. I've got about 42 people working for my business right now. So we're gonna host a company-wide team meeting and get everybody on the same page and just talk about like, I actually today, uh, because I'm on prep, my brain doesn't work properly, and so I was trying to like figure out side. what I wanted Turn to talk right. about at the meeting, and I literally was just drawing blanks. And so instead of me doing the talking, I decided that I'm gonna run the meeting like, I'm gonna get all the leaders, and there's five of us, maybe all the leaders to shout out and recognize two people in the company that crushed it in October. That way we're like in building five, the community, and, and then I didn't right, have to talk through content, and it's just five. gonna be a really good meeting. So that's at 8.30. I'm gonna do the podcast with Cole today, and then we're gonna go to the mall, and we're gonna get some shit. We'll see how good that feels about that vlogging camera. I thought we was going to hunt it, but an M, that's cool. Turn me up, Chris. I need a new Bugatti anyway. So many motherfucking hunters, you gotta make it part two.
Okay, so we're at Good Life right now, and honestly, it's a little frustrating not being at your home gym. And I, for, I forget how much I take for granted, like having my own gym and just being able to fuck go in whenever I want. Because like the check-in process here to like drop in at a Good Life is like astronomical. Like it like, takes you like literally like 15 fucking minutes. And you're like, I gotta enter you in this or something, you gotta sign some papers, you gotta show your vaccine card every single time. It's super annoying, but this is what it is. Um, we're gonna do some back and some uh, arms. And so, guys, I'm, I'm not really pushing myself. Like, I'm not trying to break down muscle tissue or anything. I'm trying to get a pump, move some of the, move some of the food around, deplete like glycogen stores. And, um, and yeah, so this is going to be the second last workout. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do some low rows, we'll do some high rows, we'll do some lat pull downs. So three exercises, and then we'll move into tricep. Uh, we'll superset some biceps and triceps. We'll do three exercises for triceps, three for biceps, and then we're done. Let's go. So many motherfucking hunters, you gotta make it part two. I'm not in competition with my homies, I'm whipping the competition in the bonus. I knew my opposition never knew me, they wouldn't be opposition if they knew me. I wouldn't do as many machines as I'm doing right now, but I wanna just make sure we're not filming anybody. So I'm just being super conscientious of where I'm going. Definitely a lot, Jim, different than being in Iron Energy. Because in Iron Energy, Drew, I want this is my gym. Guys, this is like a test of character. Like these last few days have been the hardest days of my prep so far. And so when you're in times like this, your brain is trying to trick you tell you to skip your workouts, skip your cardio, eat a little bit of extra food. You know, your brain just wants to trick you. Even I get up at three o'clock in the morning every morning and when I woke up this morning, my brain was like, rest, relax, take a break. So you really are fighting the whole, like you're fighting your body, fighting your mind. In a prep like this, and you really have to dig deep and challenge yourself and remember the outcome that you're striving for. And so for me, like I want to win this show. I've talked about that a lot. So I gotta be like on top of my shit, grinding, waking up early, hitting every work like on the supply. So we just had the uh, front desk girl come up to us, and I was assuming she was gonna tell us we had to stop filming. She's like, hey guys, when you're filming, just make sure that nobody else is around you. I was like, sick. Cause I, I honestly thought the vlog was gonna get cut short because I didn't think we were gonna be able to film, so. It's gonna be a good day. I have a little bit more energy for this workout because I did have a higher calorie breakfast. Usually during these workouts, I'm like not feeling very good. Um, yeah, so this morning again, I had my eggs, fucking some almond butter, which I haven't had. I honestly thought almond butter tastes like shit, but this morning it tasted like heaven's glory, heaven's nectar. So yeah, I feel pretty good right now. Super excited about it. <sighs> I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the crippling anxiety that I've been feeling the last few days. It's hard for me to say, but out loud. But I think the reason I have anxiety is because I like stated that I was gonna win this show. And um, honestly, I feel like I could win this show. I really do, like I honestly believe in myself and I think that there might be some bigger guys there, or more shorter guys, but I think my stage presentation is gonna win. I think my back pose is gonna win. I think my front pose is good enough to be competitive. And uh, I think I'm gonna win. So the crippling anxiety comes from this like, you know, I stated that I wanted to win. And um, if I don't, then, you know, I put it out there and I, you know, I said I was gonna do it and I didn't do it. But as I get closer, like, I just, I think it's gonna fucking happen. And so I'm anxious because if it doesn't happen, I know the haters are gonna come out to fucking talk. But let them talk because I think I'm gonna win the show. Just heading in life, too many people play it safe, you know? So they like, want to win, but then they don't tell anyone. Or when they don't win, they're like, oh, you know, I just did it to, so I can step on stage. It's like, I've never been like that. Like, I've never been the type of person that does something just to say I did it. Like, I want to be my very best, and I want to best my very best. And like, I think for me, this obviously, this show is about just stepping on stage and being your very best, but I also want to fucking win, <laughs> you know? And I don't think a lot of people talk about that. And they don't want to put it out there because if they fail, then 
they said they wanted something and they didn't get it and they can't like hide behind the excuses they don't want it but like I want to win like I want this shit I fucking want this shit man I ain't ready to play it safe That is insane. The triceps have veins, bro. Look at that. It's fucking nuts. Almost done our second last workout of the prep. What? Actually, I'll probably do like a light full body on Friday. Super, super light. And I won't have any more cardio, which is sweet. I'm so excited for that day. We have like two more days of work, I think. Two more days of work and then we're done. We consume seven liters of water today, so this is the first four. Okay, so we're gonna do some posing for you guys. And at this point, like, there's not a lot of tweaks that we're gonna do with the routine because um, it's like it is what it is at this point. I've been practicing for like 12 weeks, so the biggest thing that I'm focusing on now is like attitude and swag and making sure that I'm like feeling the fucking thing because my body knows already what to do. Like I've packed so many times, so now it's just like I need to come with that like attitude, you know, that swag. So you guys are gonna get to watch me practice. I'll do five runs of my routine. I'll do five runs of holds, and then we're gonna call it a day. Let's get into it. You don't really want smoke, you ain't got that shit I've been cruising down the yeah. block with a badass bitch yeah. With my mind on the tips and it's not on my yeah. hip Fuck then I dip, say I'm finna take yeah. a trip You don't with no energy in your body is extremely difficult <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, so this is what we're gonna do Alright, we're gonna do five rounds of holds And then we're gonna call it a day Muscles have like nothing in them. But pretty soon, I get a carb up. I think tomorrow, we'll see how my body's looking. But right now, feeling pretty good about where I'm at. I definitely think this is like the leanest and the biggest that I've been able to maintain while doing a cut ever. My back's looking pretty good too. So I'm feeling pretty confident about where I'm at right now. And we still got a couple more days to peak, so. And when I say peak, like, like dude, you can't really do a lot of damage in the last few weeks. Like, not sorry, like you're not really gonna get insanely lean in the peak week. But what I mean is like filling up properly with carbs, making sure that like the last couple days I'm really loading properly and paying attention to how my body's responding, etc. Confidence. Nigga too icy, I pull up in layers Don't need a blade, I'm still gonna slay Your mind on the bread, but I'm not a baker Need a teaspoon, the way I get paid I'm gonna do that one more time And I'm gonna make sure that I stay wide on my back goes. So, guys um, Super important you fucking pose every day If you're a competitor and you're not posing every day You're fucking up um, Cause like, there's certain things that like You only get one shot on stage and So you need to make sure that you fucking Present properly, like it sucks to go through 16 weeks of prep and then fuck it up because you didn't pose enough. So you gotta pose. So what I was trying to do in that one is I was trying to widen out my back. So let's see if it worked. 
Here we go. That's better. And now, we're gonna do some posing. Front, back, front. So we're gonna do five rounds. That's a fucking wrap. That's a wrap. You guys. Oh my gosh. Four days workout. Four days out workout is done. I'm gonna be coming back to the gym today to do this, to do. What? <laughs> I'm going to be coming back to the gym today to do the rest of my cardio. Um, and uh, yeah, I wanted to get a good workout in, a good posing session, and kind of check out where my physique is at. I'm feeling really confident, you guys. I'm feeling really good. Um, I think I got a shot at, uh, I think I got a shot at this. So at this point, um, we're doing the finishing touches. So we still got to do our spray tan, and still got to shave my body, and I need some carb loading, but overall, you guys, I'm feeling really good right now. Now I'm gonna take you guys on an adventure. Um, some are really fucking special to me, and uh, you guys are gonna get to see the trailer park that I grew up in, the trailer park that I live in my grandma's house, and it's gonna be really cool. I might get emotional, so let's go. house right now and um, I'm gonna take you guys to the place that I grew up and uh, this was the place that I um, a few years ago eight years ago I had my drug addiction and while I had my drug addiction I lived in my grandma's trailer and the reason I lived in my grandma's trailer is I basically like got kicked out of my house got my car repossessed because I was like addicted to drugs and so um, I spent uh, six months living in the trailer and so I, um, I want to take you guys to the trailer and show you like the bed that I slept in and like the environment that I grew up in. And just like, I think you guys see the house and you see the car and you see the success and it's really easy to like, not like think about where I actually came from. And I think I've talked about it before, but I haven't actually shown it. And so in this vlog, I want to really like show you guys like where I came from. Um, <clears throat> so that's where we're going. Also funny story. So. I like called my grandparents to like ask for permission because I don't just want to show up with a video camera. I'm like, hey, can I come over to uh, you know film? I want to do a little bit of YouTube. And my grandpa was like, yep, yeah, you can come over, but uh, don't come over without fish and, fish and chips. So we have to stop and get fish and chips <laughs> on the way. Otherwise, I can't go in. So that's what we're going to go do right now. Ideal world, I'd be getting fish and chips for myself. I'm just kidding. I don't usually like like fried foods and stuff like that. But I am getting fish and chips for my dad. But it is on the menu, and I'm really excited about that because he's gonna be pumped on fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chips in here. Let's eat fish so I am gonna show you guys the trailer park and you guys have already seen the house. I've already given a house tour. I want you to remember that this was only eight years ago that I lived here. And so a lot can fucking happen in eight years for you guys. And I think that um, like don't write it off no matter what age you're at or what like level you're at in life right now. Like you can level up and you can progress. And I'm gonna show you guys the progression of where I came from to where I'm at now. And honestly, this entire channel is about that. Like I wanna make this entire channel about showing you guys like, yo, I was fucking here and now I'm in this like mansion with this like my beautiful wife and like my st my stepdaughter and I'm like so fucking happy and I came from this and so I am gonna show you guys uh, this uh, the trailer park and I just want you to remember that like it wasn't too long ago that like I was living here you know like it was like pretty fucking recent so I'm excited to show you guys where I came from. This is my 
childhood home. And I'm gonna show you guys my room. So this right here is um, I got when I got fired from my nightclub bartending job. I uh, was doing drugs, selling drugs behind the bar, filling up bottles, stealing from the nightclub. So I remember I was laying right here. They called me, and uh, they were like, "Yo." I was like, hey man, what's up? They're like, we're like, we're watching you fill up bottles from this fucking nightclub. Like you're fucking fired. Like never come back here again. And so um, after that, I went to another nightclub. I got fired from the, the, that nightclub as well. And I slept in this bed right here for 72 hours. I literally like went to bed. I'd wake up for like an hour. I'd go back to bed, sleep for another eight hours. Cause I was like so disgusted with myself that I like literally couldn't fucking bear to get out of bed. Didn't have any friends, like my family kind of like gave up on me, like my grandma was just kind of like hanging on by a thread, she didn't really know what was going on. And um, it was on this bed that I decided, I was like, okay, so like I need to clean my life up. So I started looking up my old summer camp that I went to when I was 16 years old, and I asked for a job for a laborer, and they didn't have any laboring positions, so they, they, they're like, we don't have a laborer position, but we have a cleaner position, and I was like, I'm a, and I, like my ego is like, I'm a fucking nightclub manager, I'm not a cleaner, so I was like, I'm good, thanks. And then uh, two hours later, I realized that I had no other options. So I called them. I got a cleaner job at a summer camp and, um, and I took off. So basically from this bed, I took off to the summer camp um, the next day. And I spent the next three months getting like sober and getting back on my shit and uh, started working on my vision and told myself I was gonna win, a, my, like, win my pro card. I told myself that I was gonna run a successful online business. I told myself that I was gonna get sober. I told myself I was gonna like lead a team of thousands and thousands of people. And um, now I'm fucking doing it. It's pretty surreal to be here. It's pretty cool. Pretty fucking cool. So yeah, this is where I grew up. Come see the rest of the house. This is a little kitchen. This is where my grandma likes to cook. Ooh, got some oranges. I'm gonna fucking wait. Um, also, something that I haven't told the vlog yet, or maybe I have, uh, I'm gonna be buying my grandma a house next year. So uh, she doesn't know that yet, but um, I send her thousands of dollars every month because she obviously supported me through a time where like um, nobody else did and um but she still lives in this place and this place is not good enough for my grandma so i'm gonna be buying her a house next year in west Kelowna so that i can take better care of her because right now like i feel like at this stage of her life it's like obviously she needs money but i think she needs me more so i'm gonna buy her house and make sure that she's closer to me so i can take care of her and that's my why you know that's why i work it that's why i wake up that's why i work out that's why I fucking do man everything. I remember when I was going through my addiction, I fucking hated myself. And the only thing that I would think about was that I was doing this for my grandma because I didn't want to, I didn't want her to die and, and see me the way that I was. So I promised myself I was going to change for her. And so it all stemmed from her. Yeah. <sighs> all right, Poppy, we'll get out of your hair. How's the fish and chips? Good? Yeah. Awesome. So take it easy, guy. Catch yeah. you later. Yeah, catch you later. I love you. Hope you enjoy your fish and chips. You got, you got your guard dog there. You got your fucking meat. <laughs> you got the pit bull. You got the pit bull. nice seeing right. you again. I love you. Have a great night, Poppy. I'll see you later. Guys, that's it. That's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Young and Ambitious. The next time that you guys see us, the next time you guys see me, it is going to be sh the show day vlog. And so uh, up until this point, you guys, it's been like, honestly, this prep has been really fucking challenging. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I've been testing me mentally, emotionally, physically, like all of it. Um, I'm actually pretty pumped that it's over <laughs> for being completely fucking honest. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you guys got some value. Hopefully you guys got to like, you know, hopefully it like it was like impactful to see actually where I came from. Um, and see where I am now. It's like, if I can do that in eight years, then man, like, like start today, like do your fucking thing, you know? And just like, I think one of the biggest keys to my success is that I just haven't lost momentum. Um, and like, I think that the reason I haven't lost momentum is because the alternative was to go back to drugs. So it was either like, I just either got successful or I was a, dr a drug addict. So, um, yeah, I'm just really happy with where I'm at right now in life and I'm just really grateful. So, uh, I'm my way to my family's house for dinner right now. I'm gonna be half an hour late and I feel really fucking bad, but 
got to do what you got to do. I'll probably stay till 7. So, appreciate you guys so much watching. Have the best day of your entire life. And I'll see you guys on show day. Let's fucking go. Chase your dreams. Ah.